How are you? Okay, my name is Michael Dolby. This is Mitchell Ride. Um, we, uh, yeah. Um, so we titled our lab Pyromania. Okay, so what we wanted to do was um, set up uh, tracks of different concentrations of alcohol and uh, test the velocities of flames running down the alcohol. Um, and we kind of did that. Um, and we had hypothesized that, um, like, that the, the speed of the flame um, would increase um, with concentration of alcohol like, in the liquid as that increased. Uh, so we wanted to test 7% rubbing alcohol, 91%, and then vodka, which was 35%, uh, mouthwash, which was 26 and cooking wine, which was like 12%. Yeah, 12%. Um, so we, the other materials we needed was just, yeah. um, yeah. Um, so, uh, for the setup, we wanted to find a level surface. Um, we, uh, laid the track down, um, and then we, uh, wanted to stop both ends so that we could have a certain stop point so that we could measure. Uh, so we filled, um, the track with, uh, 50 milliliters of the liquid. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so our biggest problem was that um, it took us a long time to figure, uh, to find a track that would work. So our first attempt was just a Hot Wheels track, and it did not um, hold up very well. We, um, during the course of this experiment, we almost burned my house down in a few different ways. <laughs> and uh, so, well, because outside. We it was too windy. To, even, oh, even like the smallest breeze like pushed the fire back. Uh, and like it would come back again. Um, so, so, then we, like so then we tried this. Yeah. The then beans. we tried um, a paper track. We just rolled up paper and like stapled the ends and then soaked it in, in the liquid. And then, but it was like, it was burning the paper really. Like, well, it was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> so we we wanted to we thought that if we kept the paper constant that we would still be testing the alcohol by just burning paper track and we would use uh, paper track not soaked in alcohol as the control. But the problem was that it was just burning too solid. Yeah, they were all burning kind of basically at the same rate, and so that wasn't working. And our tubes sucked. Our tubes of paper. So then we tried. Um, we had a lot of. Um, run solos. We tried this like ventilated track. It was not really plastic, but it was like a plastic sort of material, and then there were like holes in the side, so we were hoping that the flame would get enough oxygen, but it burned that, as you can see. So we had to try um, this other long, narrow track. Uh, it wasn't plastic, but it was, it just, there wasn't enough oxygen getting to it. it as you can see, it was thinner than it's too deep in there. my finger. We couldn't light any alcohol. So, yeah. It wouldn't even light. It wouldn't it even light. Wow. So our final, uh, our final track worked, um, and it was like a V-shaped um, piece of metal. Um, well, it kind of worked. Uh, it worked for the. See, we should have tested our liquids before we went through all this because it worked. We couldn't even get the, we couldn't get the mouthwash to light, and we couldn't get the cooking wine to light, and the vodka. Well, you can just. So here was 70%. We have a video. And this, we took the video and then we used video analysis to do position first time. <coughs> so as you can see, so the flame was Immediately when it was lit, that's when, or immediately when it was lit, that's when um, on the video analysis when I took the first data point, and then every second we took another data point, um, and and measured. That's really slow. Yeah. Yeah. And this was the but 70%. It got kind of scary because all of a sudden it would just be like flames all in his garage and we had a fire extinguisher right next to us but yeah, we, we almost had to use it one time see the oh. first time this happened we tried to put it out with 
We had like some water nearby. <laughs> <laughs> it, were, it was so it, horrible because we, yeah. we splashed the water into the track and it pushed out all the alcohol that was on fire and it started spreading across the table and dripping <laughs> down. So I'm like, I'm like, over the bar. My parents are like, running down the stairs. We thought it was going to blow up. It was crazy. So yeah, that was 70%. Um, and then um, we did 91%. It can show you it's much faster. Oops. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Um, so then we also, when we tried the vodka, um, it, it like, the vodka lit on fire, but it wasn't really moving across the track, and do you know why that possibly it could have? I, no, I mean, I, it just, no, I don't. It just, it would light, but it would just um, stay lit for a little, and it would almost start moving, then it would die out. So we don't know if, um, we tried, we tried making... We cut our metal track in half, flipped it over, put it on the table, tried to give it more space, more oxygen, because we we figured that a, like a thinner layer and wider surface area and more oxygen and stuff would be more conducive to it um, lighting and traveling, but it didn't work. And so we mixed the 70% and the 90% so that we could have at least three um, tests, and so this. Was, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it was in it was, between. Yeah, it was in between the 70 and the 91 percent. Mm. This is 80-ish. So it's not as slow as the first, but not as fast as the second. Okay, bad enough of that. Um, so we didn't get enough, we didn't get as many data points as we had wanted to test our hypothesis about it. Um, the speed linearly increasing with the concentration, but the three points we did have were pretty, it was a pretty good line. So we um, said that our hypothesis was correct <laughs> from that. Uh, so sources of error, uh, <laughs> surface, for measurement, evaporation, like that. Ah! Yeah, we just copy and pasted. We're not actually gonna read all that. Um, so yeah, basically we just we wish we had ha we had before we started we wish we had um, tested all of our uh, liquids to see if they even lit on fire first. Uh, we like it took a lot like it took a long time to go to the store and then have to read the bottles and find like evenly spaced uh, uh, like variations of um, uh, concentration of alcohol in liquids. But we should have just tested them before going through all the the process of finding the tracks and stuff. And we wish we would have had more data points. Yeah, we did a, a small amount of preliminary research about like um, combustion and uh, the molecules and why um, the flame would travel across alcohol. Um, and so quickly we determined that the speed with which flame travels on alcohol is dependent upon concentration, um, surface area exposed oxygen, and depth of liquid. Um, we have uh, one more video. One video for everyone. So just uh, Mitch playing with fire. Is this all about? No, I don't know. No. We just, you know. Well, that, we, why we just did you put that one? I don't know. <laughs> okay. What are you, what are you yeah. doing? We were light, we were making, we were shaking up alcohol and water bottles and lighting them. Yeah. I'm trying to shoot around. Creighton came over for a little and played with us. We lit Creighton on fire real quick. Um, it was a good time. Thank you, guys. I have a couple questions, and I'll ask them, I don't know, Monday or something.